good evening. I'll be speaking about the part uh, regarding the treatment of the cancer of the breast. The basic principles involved in the treatment of cancer of the breast is one to reduce the local recurrence and second is to reduce the risk of metast metastatic spread. Uh, to prevent local recurrence, we do surgery and usually combine it with radiotherapy. Uh, and lymph node involvement is a sign of metastatic potential of the disease. Uh, once the disease is systemic, then chemotherapy and especially palliative chemotherapy has a large role to play. Uh, surgery plays much smaller role. Now, when the breast cancer is early, the treatment of choice would be surgical, and uh, the most commonly done surgery is mastectomy. Now we have two types of mastectomies here, one is the Halstead mastectomy and the other is Pate mastectomy uh, which we better know as modified radical mastectomy. Uh, Halstead mastectomy is no longer done because it causes a lot of mor morbidity associated with removal of pectoralis major and minor and it doesn't actually provide that much benefit in survival. Uh, so where we do uh, modified radical mastectomy, we do end block removal of the whole breast, skin including the nipple and usually the area of skin should be overlying the tumor such that the tumor is at the center of the skin flap removed. Uh, the fat, fascia and lymph nodes of the axilla are usually dissected. Pectoralis major and minor are not removed. The endocostobrachial nerves are usually uh, not spared and thus the patient has to be informed about loss of sensation post-operatively. Uh, the nerve to serratus anterior latissimus dorsi should be preserved for function. Uh, just to cover what is simple mastectomy, it's removal of only the breast tissue including the tail of spents. There is no accidental dissection, there is no removal of pectoralis major or minor. Uh, and just to clarify, uh, this does not mean that lymph nodes are not removed. Usually there are a few lymph nodes attached to the tail of spents which would be removed. Uh, coming to conservative breast surgery, uh, it's being chosen more and more. Uh, you, do, uh, you have two major types, wide local excision which includes one centimeter of healthy tissue around the tumor to be resected and you have a quadrantectomy where, where radially that segment is removed and uh, this may or may not be combined with axillary resection but should be combined with radiotherapy. Uh, now the choice of conservative breast therapy was chosen thinking that it would reduce the psychological morbidity associated with it but it sort of works both ways in the sense that uh, the people that do get breast conservative uh, surgery are afraid of recurrence whereas the ones that get mastectomy uh, the psychological effect is that of appearance for cosmetic reasons. Uh, now, when do you know how to, when do you deal with the axilla? There are various ways to determine whether you should go ahead for axillary, axillary dissection or not. And a uh, few of them are sentinel lymph node biopsy, sampling, removal of level 2 lymph nodes and testing them, and full axillary dissection and then sending them for histopathology. Uh, and a point to note is that you should not combine you should not pro, uh, uh, do radiotherapy through the axilla after axillary dissection as there is too much morbidity associated with that and there is no requirement for removal of inter internal mammary lymph nodes. Now, central node biopsy is almost gold standard now for uh, deciding whether axillary dissection is to be done or not. And so what they do is per operative day they inject a patent blue dye or radioisotope label albumin around the nipple in the subdermal plexus and uh, over time this drains to the area of the lymph nodes and using a handheld gamma camera uh, it, they, you decide you can detect where it's being drained and you find the first lymph node that drains that area. Uh, you biopsy this, uh, this lymph node and you send it for either frozen section or touch imprint cytology or various molecular methods and if this lymph node is involved then you go ahead and do a full axillary dissection. If this is not involved then you can uh, you can avoid axillary dissection. Now, we've taken care of the breast, we've taken care of the axilla. How do we prevent recurrence? Uh, at this point, we look at radiotherapy, and this is indicated especially in large tumors when lymph nodes are involved and when there is breast conservative therapy. Uh, so, for example, if you have a small tumor involving, uh, involving the breast and you've done a mastectomy, you may not need radiotherapy. Uh, adjuvant chemotherapy is the term used for chemotherapy post-operatively. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's said that it doesn't alter the long-term mortality but only delays the, the rate of retardance of disease. And uh, <clears throat> improves the re revival, a relapse free period by 30% which when extrapolated to the entire population affected by the disease is quite significant. Uh, <clears throat> and what do we give is 
20 mg daily of tamoxifen for premenopausal women and in postmenopausal women we prefer uh, aromatase inhibitors such as anastrozole. Uh, the basic regimen used for chemotherapy is CMF, cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, and 5 chlorouracil And modern regimens also include doxorubicin and taxane. And usually to uh, make it more palatable for the patient, the hormonal therapy is given following this chemotherapy reg regimen for 5 years, uh, which is uh, tamoxifen. And uh, biologicals such as receptin should be offered, especially when the patient is tests for doing positive. The guidelines for the follow-up say that there should be yearly mammography of both the treated and the control at the breast to pick up on uh, early lesions and uh, basically you want to send the patient back to the physician care as early as possible and the physician would do, uh, do the continued follow-up care and if any suspicion of malignancy arises they would be fast-tracked back to specialized care and uh, breast reconstruction surgery should be offered to all patients where either immediate or delayed but preferably if they are going in for radiotherapy, you would do delayed reconstruction for better results. <coughs> um, thank you. Any questions?